hello everyone welcome back to my channel anytime medicine and today we are going to discuss about vitamin b complex there are eight vitamins vitamin b1 to b12 concludes in vitamin b complex they all are water soluble and all can wash out from body very easily if they are deficient in diet except vitamin b12 like we have discussed in my previous video that's mainly stored in liver and muscles and can last up to three to four years Vitamin B used in many different metabolic pathways can be used as coenzyme like ascorbic acid or precursor to coenzyme like FAD or NAD+. If they are deficient, we will see common symptoms like rheumatitis, glossitis, diarrhea or chelitis, which is skin breakdown at corner of leaves like you can see the in picture. First vitamin is vitamin B1 or thymine. You can see the structure of thymine. Thymine converted to thymine pyrophosphate, which is cofactor for several dehydrogenase enzymes like pyruvate dehydrogenase, which links glycolysis to TCA cycle, and alpha ketoglutarase dehydrogenase, which is used in TCA cycle, alpha keto acid dehydrogenase or branch chain keto acid dehydrogenase and the last one is trans ketolase which will be used in HM patient all of this process we are going to see in metabolism section of my further videos if we get deficient to thymine we will develop certain disease one of it vernicus encephalopathy which is neurological condition and acute and life-threatening we will see the classic triad which is confusion of thermoplegia and ataxia the another disease is Korsakoff encephalopathy which is amnestic disorder with chronic alcohol consumption and which presents with confabulation and personality change and permanent memory loss if those diseases are severe enough, patient will develop vernicus korsakoff syndrome. Affected individuals may have abnormal binding to thymine and damage to medial dorsal nucleus of thalamus and mammillary bodies. And we will see the symptoms of both vernicus encephalopathy and korsakoff encephalopathy. Another disease we are going to see is beriberi. There are two types of beriberi, wet and dry. In wet, we are going to see high output cardiac failure due to dilated cardiomyopathy and edema. In dry beriberi, we are going to see polyneuropathy and symmetric muscle wasting. We will see the photo of wet beriberi that has edema and the dry beriberi that is a man with a symmetric muscle wasting due to thymine deficiency. Now we are going to see thymine and glucose relation how they are related. In malnourished patient there is low level of glucose and thymine as well. If in those patients glucose is given first as a treatment they will unable to metabolize it because without thymine they cannot run the TCA cycle as they cannot make the ATP. And it will worsen the symptoms and can develop Wernicke Korsakoff encephalopathy. And that's why the malnourished and the alcoholics thymine is given first as a treatment than the dextrose. Second vitamin is vitamin B2 or riboflavin which is a component of flavin like FAD and FMN, FAD plus required by dehydrogenase and in electron transport chain that we are going to talk about in my further metabolism section videos used as cofactor in redox reaction like the succinate dehydrogenase reaction in TCA cycle you can see the structure of riboflavin down below getting deficient to riboflavin is very rare if we get deficient we will see the chelosis that is inflammation of lips and scaling and fissure at the corner of mouth or we are going to see corneal vascularization which is very rare and dermatitis and glossitis you can see the picture of glossitis down below and chelosis you can see the picture on your right vitamin b3 which is known as niacin that is a constitute of nad and nad plus and used in electron transport NAD plus is required by dehydrogenases and niacin is used to treat hyperlipidemia. You can see the structure of niacin down below. Remember that niacin is synthesized from tryptophan and conversion requires vitamin B6. You can see the structure of tryptophan is converting into niacin that will be needing vitamin B6. We get niacin from grains, milk, meats and liver. They cannot found in corn that's why who are under corn based diet they are most likely to get deficient from niacin. Those who get severe deficient to niacin will develop pellagra. You need to remember 4 D's for pellagra like dermatitis, diarrhea, dementia and death. You can see in the picture that men have burned hands and neck area. Initially it is like bare sunburn but it is blistering and scaling of skin. 
on the area of face, neck, arms and feet or dorsal surface of hands, usually the area which is mostly in sun exposed. Patient who have tuberculosis will get isoniazid therapy. Isoniazid therapy will decrease the B6 activity as niacin. That's why those patients will get niacin deficiency. In niacin deficiency, we will going to see heart and up disease and carcinoid syndrome too. Heart and up disease is autosomal recessive disease which will have absence of amino acid transporters in proximal tubules in kidneys and enterocytes in intestine. Uh, we'll see amino acid ureas and decreased absorption of amino acid from gut. That's why there will be decreased tryptophan for conversion into niacin and which will lead to pellagra like symptoms. And this can be treated with high protein diet and nicotinic acids. Carcinoid syndrome caused by GI tumors that secrete serotonin which will have diarrhea, flushing and cardiac valve disease which altered or increased the tryptophan metabolism in normal persons approx 1% of tryptophan will convert into serotonin but in carcinoid syndrome patients will have 70% of tryptophan converting into serotonin that will lead to tryptophan deficiency and eventually pellagra like symptoms because tryptophan need for niacin synthesis if we get excessive niacin in our body we will see the symptoms like Facial flushing seen with niacin treatment for hyperlipidemia, which will stimulate the release of prostaglandins in skin, which will turn face red and warm. This, this can be avoided with aspirin prior taking niacin, and that will fare with time. Will another symptoms we'll see is hyperglycemia and hyperuricemia, and that will be end up with gout and podogra. Vitamin B5 which is pentothenic acid which is a component of coenzyme A. Coenzyme A required for dehydrogenase and fatty acid synthase. Coenzyme A accepts or donates the acyl group. You can see the structure of pentothenic acid and coenzyme A. There is pentothenic acid in coenzyme A structure you can see down below. Vitamin B5 found in widely distributed food that's why getting deficient to this is very rare. If we get deficient to this, we will see the symptoms of dermatitis, enteritis, alopecia, adrenal insufficiency, numbness and paresthesia which is burning of feet. In vitamin B6, there are three compounds, pyridoxal and pyridoxamine which found in animals and pyridoxine which found in plants. They all converted into pyridoxal phosphate. You can see the structure of pyridoxal phosphate down below. Pyridoxal phosphate is cofactor in many reactions like aminotransferase reaction which transfer amino acids like ALT and AST. In synthesis of neurotransmitters like dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine, serotonin and GABA. It will need in histamine synthesis and cofactor for decarboxylation reaction and in glycogen phosphorylase. Like we have seen in previous slides that vitamin B6 is need for niacin synthesis so vitamin B6 deficiency will lead to niacin deficiency. Vitamin B6 is also required for synthesis of gamma aminolevulonic acid or ALA which is necessary for synthesizing him. Deficiency will lead to sideroblastic anemia because iron cannot be incorporated in him and iron accumulates in RBC cytoplasm. There is a relation between isoniazide and vitamin B6. Isoniazide is a TB drug that has similar structure to vitamin B6 and that forms inactive form of pyridoxal phosphate and that will lead to relative vitamin B6 deficiency. That's why we must advise to patient to take vitamin B6 when taking isoniazide. Getting deficient to vitamin B6 is very rare. If you get deficient to vitamin B6, will see the symptoms of seizures, confusion, and neuropathy that is inducible by isoniazide and oral contraceptive. We will also see the symptoms of hyper irritability and glossitis and oral ulcers. Vitamin B6 is the only vitamin which have potential toxicity than the other vitamin Bs. Occurs with the massive intake of supplements. Patients will have sensory neuropathy like pain and numbness in legs and because of that patient may have difficulty in walking. 
vitamin B7 which is biotin which is a cofactor for carboxylation enzymes which add one carbon group to these structures. The first reaction is pyruvate carboxylase which will add one carbon group to pyruvate and make oxaloacetate. Second reaction is acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase which will add one carbon group to the acetyl coenzyme A and make melonyl coenzyme A. The third reaction is propionyl coenzyme A carboxylase that will add one carbon group to propionyl coenzyme A and make methyl melonyl coenzyme A. Biotin deficiency is very rare and caused by long term antibiotic use or excessive consumption of egg whites which will have avidin in it and that will lead to biotin deficiency. Symptoms like dermatitis, glossitis, alopecia, loss of appetite and nausea will see in biotin deficiency. We'll discuss vitamin B9 and vitamin B12 in separate videos. So thank you very much for watching this video. Do subscribe my channel, share it to your friends and see you until my next.